Hey guys, this is patientbeyond.com and the brand new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is here. And so is the Galaxy Z Fold 2 and so is the Galaxy Watch 3. But I, I want to talk about this, the new Galaxy Buds Live. Now these recently arrived to us and honestly, I found it to be more interesting than I thought it would be. So what are you waiting for? Let's talk about the Galaxy Buds Live. Uh, no, I'm not proposing to you. I'm proposing to you maybe to hit the bell icon. Hit it. Okay, so this right here is the Galaxy Buds Live case and the Galaxy Buds Live earbuds. And this looks quite different. I'm honestly bored of all the AirPods clones, so this is unique. I mean, I'm not much into jewelry, but these do look like one in the ears. Anyway, I'll be honest with you, I did not quite like the new bean-shaped design of the earbuds when the first renders leaked. But in person, these look much better and quite surprisingly and very importantly, super comfortable. Now, when I first took out the Galaxy Buds Live out from the case, I was confused on how to put these in. But it's simple. Wing tips on the top, that's what I remember. So let me be frank, the Galaxy Buds Live have a design that's something new, something unique, and they go right inside your ear. So when I was first wearing them, I kind of felt a little weird. But after a while, they're so lightweight, so snug, I did not even notice they were there. So yeah, that's good. See, these fit in perfectly in my ear and I gave these to a couple of more people to try and the Buds Live fit them perfectly too. Now, honestly, if you have very small ears, tiny ears to be honest, then maybe these won't fit you, but I don't have anyone here with tiny ears, so wasn't able to check on that. Don't worry, we'll get Akshay to try these someday. Plus, these just don't fall off. I did the trademark B-bomb headbanging test and the earbuds never even got loose in my ears. See, I'm someone who does not really like the AirPods or basically any other earbuds which don't have a silicon tip because no matter how much I try, they just fall off or they don't fit in perfectly. Now, whereas this, the Galaxy Buds Live, they just fit in and they're super comfortable as well. So I'm really impressed with the bean design that Samsung has implemented here. These buds also pack in a lot of functionality and each of these buds has two contact points for charging and there's a wing tip around it for better fit. Oh, and by the way, there are a pair of bigger wingtips in the box. So in case the buds don't fit your ears, you can use them. Coming to the sound quality, the Galaxy Buds Live has 12 millimeter drivers and a bass duct on each bud. And they are AKG tuned. And well, if you ask me, they sound powerful. I mean, I've used the Galaxy Buds Plus as well. And these definitely have better audio quality. These are louder. The bass is very good. And I like the sound quality here. Now, I'm sure you know I'm no audiophile, but I've enjoyed the sound quality on these earbuds. As for the different sound modes, the Galaxy Wearable app has different equalizer modes, as you can see. So you have options and you can also see the other big feature of these earbuds, ANC, aka Active Noise Cancellation. Now, according to Samsung, the ANC here does not completely tune you out of the surroundings. Instead, it can cut down some noise while making sure you hear important announcements or when somebody talks to you. But not everybody likes that. But in my uses, the ANC on the Galaxy Buds Live just does not make a big enough impact. I know it's not supposed to totally tune me out of environment surroundings, but in my usage, there wasn't any big difference. On or off, I could hear the surroundings. When it comes to latency or performance while gaming, the Buds Live worked fine for me. I mean, I did not come across any latency issues. And in the Samsung Wearable app, there's a gaming mode that's supposed to make things even better. However, this feature is only present with Samsung phones. On the OnePlus Note, the app does not have this feature. Now, even without the gaming mode, I did not come across any latency issues, but while playing on the Nord, I did notice that the Galaxy Buds Live have a few connection drops once in a while. I mean, I was gaming, so the phone was close by, but there were connection drops and breaks, which were a little annoying. I mean, the Galaxy Buds Live has Bluetooth 5.0 and there were no connection drops whatsoever on the S20 Ultra or the Note 20 Ultra. So maybe it's a bug and hopefully Samsung will fix this with an update. Apart from that, the Buds Live also has a good mic setup. There are three microphones on each bud, one inside, two outside, and a voice pickup unit as well. Well, this is me talking from the Galaxy Buds Live and I think the audio is pretty clear and let's compare it to the Galaxy Buds Plus to see if there's a difference. Hey guys, this is me talking from the Galaxy Buds Plus and I think the audio quality from both of these earphones is pretty similar. And uh, yeah, the Galaxy Buds Live does do a little more noise cancellation, but it's very similar. 
Anyway, talking about other features, you get the usual touch controls along with an option to customize the press and hold. There's an option to hear your notifications aloud and there's support for Bixby voice wake up and other Bixby voice command features. To be honest, Google Assistant would have made way more sense here. I mean, who even uses Bixby these days? As for pairing, it's pretty seamless. You can just open up the case and on Samsung phones, you get this pop-up for fast connect. On other phones, you can pair these buds via the Bluetooth settings in the traditional way, but it's easy nonetheless. I also noticed something really nice that the buds support Swift pair on Windows, so you can get this pop-up to pair quickly on Windows laptops, which is pretty awesome. Lastly, there's the battery. So the Galaxy Buds Live case has a 472 mAh battery, while each of these earbuds have a 60 mAh battery. Now, I haven't noted the battery performance yet, but with the ANC and other Samsung features turned on, the earbuds are set to last 6 hours. Turn them off and they're supposed to last for around 8 hours, with around 21 hours from the pretty compact case. Now, the battery life is obviously nowhere close to the 10-11 hours mark of the Galaxy Buds Plus, but I think it's not too bad. I think it's decent. Plus, I like the fact that the case here supports wireless charging, so charging is it pretty easy, especially if you have a Samsung phone, a high-end one. Look, at the end of it all, I'm not aware of the Galaxy Buds Live India pricing right now. And I think a more prolonged use would be fair to you know, make a judgment. But if you ask me, personally, I find these earbuds very compelling. And that's mainly because of this new bean-like design. See, the bean design of the Galaxy Buds Live has paid off. It's super comfortable, very easy on the eyes, and it fits. Plus, I like the sound quality on these earbuds. It's just the way I like it. The microphones are pretty good too and the battery, while not extraordinary, it's decent enough. Now things aren't perfect. Active noise cancellation just does not have a big enough impact. And I noticed some connectivity issues with non-Samsung phones, although this is something I'm going to test with more phones. So yep, if you're planning to buy the Galaxy Buds Live, I'd say let's wait for the price because it all depends on which earphones it competes against. Well, those are my thoughts on the new Galaxy Buds Live and I'd love to know your opinion on the same, so comment down below. Also, our video on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is also coming soon, so let us know in the comments what you want to watch. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.